M0FXB, welcome again to my channel. So look, the FT5, and we're using this MMDVM hat that I've got from China. They're about 40 pound delivered. And the good thing about them is they have the antennas soldered to the top, so you can get them into a small case. You have an OLED screen, and they can be used with either Pi Star system, or if you get a board which looks like this, and you'll see further in the video, that you can actually use it with the blue dv system so in, in total blue dv wise that would cost you i would say about 15 plus 40 55 but yeah the main problem we're having at the moment is that pi zeros pi uh, are quite expensive but you can buy a pi 2 or a pi 3 for about 20 pat this is this is a pi 2 it's got it i've got it on the ethernet at the moment Pi 2 was 20, 25 pound. I think 35 pound for a Pi 3 in the UK. Um, and it just works great, and uh, as you can see. So watch the rest of the video, but having fun here. And uh, this was from AliExpress, and so was the this board. Uh, inexpensive, well worth tinkering with. Just remember, if you use the blue DV, you flip the switch to the left. Watch the rest. M0FXB, so have a look here. It's all working fine. Watch the rest of the video, but basically, We've got the MMDVM hat onto the USB board, which you're going to see soon. And the board is only about £15. It's connected to my PC via a micro USB cable. Uh, the hat, unfortunately, is about £40 from AliExpress. It, it has This one is pre-soldered, uh, the antennas and the OLED screen. The antennas are flat on the board, so it, it will fit into a case very neatly. You could even buy a, a, a board with a battery on, on these. But anyway, let's just focus on what's happening here. So right now, where you've got my FT5 in our infusion mode, if you look at my settings here on Blue DV. Now, where do you get the Blue DV software from? Have a look further in the video. Also explains about the Pi Star system. I'm going to show you my settings, though. So we're going to disconnect by just clicking the blue sliders off here that's how you disconnect and connect and then we're going to go to menu setup this is the setup page I'm just going to show you if you right click your device manager now I never had to add any driver for this it just had it automatically but the driver you need so double click ports is the USB serial CH340 driver um, so I'll put a link in for that as well if you need it now setup wise you literally just put select up here Ambi 3000, call sign, you put the serial port number you've just seen, but it'll be the number you want, the frequency you're going to be using on the radio. Uh, you can put your location in, and, and now then you've got different modes. You've got D-Star, DMR, and Fusion here. So I've told it to use Fusion. No, actually, I haven't told it to start up with Fusion, but I can. You just tick a little box here. And that goes for each thing. You can even tick on D-Star, APRS. And there's a thing called APRS chat. There's another thing you can do on this, which is an Ambi server. I'll talk about that later. But for now, these are the settings. So freeze frame, have a look at the settings. Now, if you do decide to use DMR and you're in the UK, you need to choose 2341 GB, or whatever you use in the USA. Uh, the good thing about the hotspot is that it's VHF, UHF. And it will also work with a Pi, the Pi Star system if you use it on a Pi or a Raspberry Pi, basically. So that's my settings. And once you've got the correct settings in, click Save, like so. And as you can see here on the D Star, look, Module B, told it to connect to Reflector 30. And uh, on Fusion, we're on to CQ UK. There's a long list to choose from. And uh, I'm not using the FCS at the moment. And um, we've got a DMR Plus Master as well. Oh, yeah, get your DMR ID number in there, your DMR number basically up here. Look, you want to get that all in there. Uh, DMR type, just using Brandmeister. But look, you've got TGIF and other free, free DMR and other modes. All right, save. And then when you've done that correctly, when you click that serial thing to engage it, it will say that it's detected the firmware. See that MMDVM HS dual hat, it's found it straight away. It's going to, and it's gone straight into, into Fusion there. So 7.3, thanks for watching and watch the rest of the video. Bye for now. M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So I bought this MMDVM USB hat from AliExpress and they're very good if you want to use a blue DV system using a normal MMDVM hat. So we're going to do a few experiments. They're only about £15. Just make sure you've got the switch to the left here. 
to the left, uh, otherwise it won't work. So the, this, these MMDVM hats here, they look similar to other ones you've seen, but they're white. Uh, I suppose it's the same color as the Zum Spot, but you've actually got the antennas soldered on here, TX and RX, uh, which is uh, unusual because normally you have an antenna sticking out. So um, they're basically surface mounted antennas. Now, the other thing is that these are VHF and UHF, and they're also a duplex hotspot. So you buy these, they are about £40 now. You can buy them for about 35 without all the bits on, but I went for one that's got the bits. So if you want to use it with Pi Star, all you would do is fit this onto a Raspberry Pi Zero. Or, or a Pi 3 would work. Pi 3, Pi 2. You know, here's a Pi 2. And you just carefully line up the pins. Like so. Now they're quite, I notice these white boards are quite flimsy, so careful when you push them on and off. And we will test this. Um, you're gonna need an SD card with an image of Pistar on. I'll show you where to get the image off it from in a minute. Or if we just pull that off, like so. And you could just put this onto the USB board. And this is where we could use it with Blue DV on our PC. So now you literally would just connect a micro USB cable here to your PC, then run the Blue DV software, and then you'll be using the Blue DV system, which I will show you. And then the typical hat that we're all used to having are these. You don't actually have to have the OLED screen. So we'll do some more experiments in this, just sort of show you what I've got. This is a Pi 2, so we're using a dongle for Wi-Fi, but Pi 3 or Pi 0 is a much neater package. But I do recommend these USB boards, because they're like 15 pound. And you can have lots of fun with them. And, and uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll be setting it all up one by, I'll do it all one by one, future videos. Bye for now, 7.3, a start be for MMDVM, Pi Star, DMR, D Star, Fusion, NXDN, P25, all that, all that kind of stuff. Watch the last part of this video, I'll show you the software. So this is the Blue DV software and it just works great and I'll, I'll be configuring it one at a time so you can see it. I'm sure you've seen it before. The Pi Star software, you download the image. There's a download section here. Go to Pi, download Pi Star. And it's normally the bottom one. You download that and you put it onto a SD card. You don't need about 4 GB, 8 GB. It will work. Uh, and then you're running the Pi Star system. To get it onto your SD card, you need this, a program like this, Bellina Etcher is the one I use. And you can't just slide it, the, pro, the image that you download into it, you have to transfer it this way. With the Pi Star system, you do need your Wi-Fi, and all you do is go to Pi Star Tools, go to Wi-Fi Builder, put in the username and password here of your router at home, or you could use the mobile hotspot on your mobile phone. Click Submit, and you'll get this little file at the bottom there and just drag that into the SD card, put the SD card into your Pi. So the kind of, you know, your Pi Zero is there, so it would go in your Pi and um, and, and away you go. And the, but the Blue DV system is different. Uh, it's a wired system. You can actually run a thing called Nambi Server. I'm going to test that as well, where it sends out, so you run this program on the computer, it sends out a, a sort of Wi-Fi signal around your house and then you get your mobile phone using Wi-Fi and you can uh, then use this kind of a window via the Wi-Fi. So it basically bypass, it, it disconnects the need to having a cable and you can pretty much use it on Android. So I'll show that as well. Bye for now, 73.